How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got another automotive news video and we're going to be talking about the 2023 Toyota GR Corolla, specifically the Circuit Edition. Now before we actually get into today's video, definitely be sure to like and subscribe down below. It's absolutely free and helps me out a ton as a smaller YouTuber. I'm trying to put out more content as of recently, so let me know what you guys think, whether you guys want more car reviews, automotive history videos, or like automotive news, or like top 10 videos. Just let me know down in the comments below any new yet like future video ideas that you'd want to see more of on the channel. But anyways, getting into this article by Motor Trend, we're going to be focusing on this circuit edition GR Corolla. Now I, as well as probably some of you, were kind of teased by Toyota a little bit. And when we first saw the GR Corolla, we saw this car, this gray car. Now I'm going to go through some of Motor Trend's pictures and the link to this article will be down in the description below. If you want to go check out, you know, their content all uh, you know, credit goes to them. But I've been seeing these pictures a lot around the internet. This is actually the Circuit Edition trim of the GR Corolla. So it's not the core trim. Now, if you haven't seen it already, I did do another video explaining the kind of release of the GR Corolla that I posted on the channel like a couple days ago now. So I'll leave it linked on top of the video right now if you wanna go click it and you know check that video out. But basically this new GR Corolla will be available in both the core trim, which is like the kind of base entry level trim for the GR Corolla, as well as the circuit edition. Now, initially I thought the circuit edition was basically just going to be something that's a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, a little bit more of an aggressive looking GR Corolla. But after reading this article by Motor Trend and seeing a couple other uh, posts online, it actually turns out that the circuit edition is basically just gonna be like a launch edition. So Toyota is pretty much just going to make 1500 circuit edition GR Corollas, and they're only gonna be available in the 2023 model year. Now, they're actually not gonna be the very first GR Corollas that are going to be produced and offered you know, through orders or whatever. So the very first GR Corollas that are actually gonna be available are just going to be the like core trims or like entry level trims, not the circuit editions. But when these circuit editions do go on sale, I think orders literally start in 2023 and they end in 2023. So they're, it's like a one model year only type vehicle. It's basically just like a launch edition. And mechanically, there's really not ch any changes that I've seen whatsoever. I'm pretty sure these circuit editions are, are gonna be offered in both the automatic and manual transmissions, just like the core editions. Uh, but pretty much the main difference is these aesthetic features, which just looking back to these pictures, uh, this is what we were kind of made to assume the GR Corolla would actually look like. Like these are some up close pictures right here. But going back to like the first couple pictures in this uh, album, you can see the more aggressive rear wing, the more aggressive uh, rear fenders here with like the diffuser, as well as the nice gaping uh, grill right in front with the almost like Lamborghini-esque style headlights, which I think is absolute like looks absolutely amazing on these Corollas but unfortunately going back to this uh, again this uh, article by Motor Trends and scrolling down a little bit this is what the core trim is going to look like so it, it, there's definitely a decent amount of difference there aesthetically you don't have the really aggressive rear wing I believe you have different side skirts the wheels look similar or the, uh, the exact same but the fenders don't look as wide. Uh, you do have a, 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 a diffuser down there, but a lot of stuff is just like, kind of like a little bit different. And even moving to the front of the vehicle, you could just tell uh, that some something's definitely just not right. It's just not the same as the Circuit uh, Edition GR Corollas. Now, does that make these new GR Corollas less impressive than they already are? I don't think so. I think they're still gonna be uh, fantastic little hot hatch cars that are really gonna like revitalize that market, especially here in the United States. But I do think that us car enthusiasts were a little bit teased by Toyota when they use the pretty aesthetically different circuit edition to kind of launch uh, this new Corolla and they didn't immediately show us what the core trim is going to look like as well. So looking at this section of the article right here, you can see that the circuit edition, so basically the nicer looking edition or the launch edition GR Corollas will start roughly around 
40,000 US dollars. So I wanna know what you guys think of that price tag down in the comments below. I mean, I know it's a new vehicle, but do you really think a all wheel drive, three cylinder turbo hot hatch is really worth all that money? So to some people, I mean, $40,000 might seem fair to others. Uh, it might seem a little bit overpriced, but just anyways, you know, let me know what you guys think of that price tag down below. And I also want you guys to realize us uh, kind of switching gears and going over to this car and driver article that the regular GR Corolla, like the core trims are gonna be starting a little over $30,000. So there's no, like, so basically you can see the pricing right here, the 32 grand for the core, $40,000 estimated for the circuit edition. Do you really think that those aesthetic features as well as just like the hype of having a circuit edition are really worth the extra $8,000, almost $10,000 uh, in your opinion? Now, again, mechanically, draw, like as far as the drivetrain is concerned, everything right now is pretty much exactly the same. Limited slip differential in the rear and it's all wheel drive. So you kind of have a 300 horsepower producing little hot hatch that is great around the track. But again, with that circuit edition, you do have the much more aggressive styling. So I would say that this circuit edition could potentially be a trim or a you know kind of like niche car that does appreciate in value in the future. I think like any other new cars, you know, in the next few years or so, it's definitely gonna depreciate a little bit. But when comparing the core GR Corollas, which are gonna be produced over multiple amount of years, we don't know yet, obviously, but <laughs> when comparing those to like the one year only circuit edition, I do think that in the future, the circuit editions are gonna be worth more, especially if they're like, kind of garage kept in lower mileage. But also it kind of begs the question of, hey, do you, do I want to spend all this money on a brand new hot hatch making decent amount of power and just keep it in my garage and not actually drive the damn thing? So again, let me know if you guys think that the circuit edition is really worth all the hype and all the extra almost 10,000 US dollars. Or do you think that Toyota was just trying to release this car with the circuit edition kind of being the face of it just to add to all the excitement of the you know new release of this manual hot hatch entering in a Toyota's lineup in the 2023 model year. Now that's pretty much just gonna wrap up today's video, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below of the core and circuit edition GR Corollas. And like always, thank you guys so much for all the support. If you haven't already, definitely be sure to subscribe and like this video. But like always, thank you so much for all the support and I'll see you guys in the next one.